inside the mind of a competitive controller player. If you haven't already, pop those post notifications on so you don't miss any of my streams and let's get right into it. So in this first scenario here, I got hit pretty hard at the start of this fight. I'm opening an edit just to check that he's got off me, now I'm going to pop a slurp juice. I start going straight away towards this box as soon as I've popped it because I know by the time I get there, I'm going to be on good health. So I take the wall, I place a cone for peace control, and right here a very useful trick I did here was placing the ramp and the wall in the box at the same time that allowed me to pick up this easy kill. People very often aren't expecting you to go to the ramp inside the box at the same time as the wall. So try that and you'll probably pick up a lot more kills. When we're pulling up to this guy's box right here, it's, we do some very interesting things. So you can see we start by dropping down on the cone. This is because we're trying to get some counter piece control straight away and mean that he can't edit straight on some boxes. If he does that, then we can flip the cone and edit out the side. Either way, we pull a pick us out and he instantly edits all edit, which makes me run to the left and look down and place two walls around so I can approach the box from a safer angle. I know from past experience that he's just tried to edit on me, so I know he's going to be quite an in-your-face type of player. So then I run back, grab the wall, place the cone super fast. He's still got his build up by this point, trying to hold the wall. And then we hit a quick shot. After we reset, it's a simple gesture to just do a peanut butter, run to the left to make sure we're not being exposed, and then hit a nice shot to finish the fight. We made multiple plays here that actually ensured we managed to finish this fight without throwing. The counter piece control was a big part of it, and the safe peek at the end really made sure we didn't get one pumped. He could have one pumped us at the end. I'm sure you've all had that happen to you before. This clip was a little bit closer to the start of the game, and you can see I pretty much side from that. So I'm waiting for this guy who's got the key card to come back to the vault, but I see the visual sound effects on my screen that means the rocket ram's coming. So I quickly go back, switch to my shotgun, and wait for him to fly past, as you can see right here. I hit a 90 tag on him, and then from then on, I have the health advantage. So I am playing aggressively in this fight. He goes up and I just missed the cone on him right here. I can then see he's boxing out to the left side, so I'm going to try and cut him off in this situation. So I edit through, edit a cone to get counter piece control, flip it to make sure he doesn't edit on me, and then get the walls to the side of him. I'm then going to try to pull my pickaxe out to bait him and instantly switch back to my shotgun. I then try this again, but this time pickaxe it once and switch back to my shotgun. The pickaxes in the wall distracted him and made him think that I was going for that wall, when instead I made a quick peanut butter on the other wall and hit him 150 to finish the fight. This is a really good fight from my perspective and it involved completely baiting the opponent. Can I remind you if you are enjoying this video, make sure you use code JKC in the full item shop and let's carry on with these fights. This one's a quick one, but a very useful one that you can do. So right here, I flip the ramp and reset it straight away with the opponent underneath it. He thought I was editing straight on his face to so try to pre-fire me, but accidentally shot the ramp. So that means he's used his shotgun shot and I've got a free shot on his head. Beautiful way to win the game. In this fight, I was pretty low and I had to just about get a slurp off. My main priority here is to get away from him long enough that I can regen some health. So he edits straight away here as I knew he would. He gets the wall straight away and edits it. I straight away pre-fire him and then I spray to give him the impression I'm just trying to run in. This is all to bait out the second edit and it actually works. He edits again. I hit a second pre-fire in less than two seconds and get the kill. This was a fight I was definitely not meant to win and this proves the power of pre-fires. Clip 6 might not be in the most competitive of Fortnite maps, however it's still a good example of a fight. So right here I place a wall and I decide that because there's three people spraying at me from all angles, I'm going to run out the side and see if I can one pump one, because that is the last thing they would expect. So I edit the left wall as you can see right here. I run out and completely catch this guy pickaxing and by surprise, I hit him 182 and he instantly pulls his builds out because what do you do when someone one pumps you, you try to build. So I edit this and I'm straight away running because I've got a gigantic health advantage and he's caught with this build out because it's human reflex. I then have a chance to sit here and wait patiently for him to fall and hit him at last 25 to get the kill. This is a super good example of how health advantages work. As the person you just got hit, you're trying to play defensive and get away. So you pull your builds out and as a player that's just got the hit in, you're going to be attacking. And you're going to be trying to peace control the opponent while they've got their builds out so they're looking lost. If you enjoyed this video and want more of this type of content, watch this video right here to learn how to win 67% more of your fights. I'll see you there. Thank you for watching.